This thing on? <clears throat> hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Cody Alford back here at you guys. Uh, <clears throat> first, thank you for all the uh, subscriptions as well as all the positive comments. Uh, you know, talking about mental health and just talking about health in general is never one of those easy categories. There's always the haters. There's always those people that say like, you're fake or there's something wrong with you or suck it up. But I mean, <clears throat> we don't have to live like that. So I make these videos to help out as many people as I can. With 15 years in the military, I definitely learned a lot. I've definitely lived a lot of life. I'm only 33 now. Uh, I say only, <laughs> yeah, 33. And I've definitely experienced a lot of a lot of things. And as I matured and as I grew older, especially in the special operations community, you know, it really opened my eyes to just different platforms that are out there for us to get taken care of so we can stay in the fight. And, you know, for everyone who's listening that's not in the military, you know, some of the stuff still applies to you guys. So what I want to talk about today is the ultimate shame and guilt-based societies that we create within our own niches that we operate in. This just doesn't have to be a military thing. It, it could be a, any type of work environment, right? <clears throat> so shame and guilt. So what is that? <clears throat> So the way I interpret that is, you know, I was just using myself for example, when I was on a team and, you know, I was feeling sick that day or I needed to go to talk to a doctor for something or I just had some things wrong with me, family issues, just life issues, I kind of feel guilty for like trying to take time off to like actually go take care of that stuff. You know, it's almost like I feel selfish for doing so. Because <clears throat> I'm like, man, the team needs me, the guy needs me, my job needs me, my my working group needs me. And so generally what happens, because I have that guilty feeling, I, I you know, most of the time I just kind of put it off and I never ever took care of this stuff. Or I use band-aids to do the quick fix to get right back in the fight and act like nothing happened. <clears throat> well, let's just say you actually said, you know what, screw that. I got a problem, I need to go take care of it, no matter what it is. There's the shame-based society that's out there. It's like, hey, do you really need to go to the doctor? Is there something really wrong with you? You have it that bad? <laughs> and then you feel, you feel so horrible for, like, for doing that. So you, they're, they're shaming you, right, for, like, trying to get help. <clears throat> so let's, let's take all that and put it in a mental health aspect. You know, when I finally started truly nailing down and, like, deciding that I was going to start taking care of myself, I was a mass sergeant, I was an E8 in the Marine Corps, and you with a pretty good reputation, reputation but even then, work, workmates were like, there's nothing wrong with him, he's just being a pussy, like, what a wuss, bro, like, I didn't think he was a loser like that, or, Cody, we all have problems, we all have pains, I'm like, yeah, doesn't mean I should just sit here and suck it up for no reason, man, so, when I started to go talk to my doctors, I really started making it verbal, like what I was doing is just so I could help out a lot of people along the way. You know, work's like, hey, when are you gonna come back? You gotta stop going to all these appointments. You know, I'm trying to get my brain checked and get my sleep work done, and they're like, I really need you for that that seven o'clock meeting that we do absolutely nothing on, and we talk about a bunch of stuff, we go around in circles, and but I, I need you there for that, you can't miss that. And I'm like, what? I'm trying to get my brain fixed. You want me to just go stand in a little, little horribly lit room to talk about nothing because that's what, that's what we're supposed to do every morning at seven o'clock. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. So, but what I really felt bad about all this was, is like all the younger men and women, you know, the lesser ranks that, what if they had issues? You know, me being pretty senior in the organization, if I said something, people generally didn't give me too much of a hard time. They just gave me a hard time, but I was still able to do everything I needed to do. But for those young and younger men and women, I mean, I can only imagine like what they were told, like, hey, suck it up, get back to work, there's nothing wrong with you, you haven't even deployed yet, or you're working for a new company, hey, you haven't been here long enough to need to go talk to, you know, the medical, or, you know, whatever kind of crap that is, so, <clears throat> you know, I want to keep this kind of short and sweet, but just, but just know that those things are out there, this guilt and shame-based society, you know, we, we created it ourselves. Not just special operations, not just the military, but every work environment. I mean, it's not a very common thing. You know, suffer in silence, suck it up. That's really the kind of like the motto a lot of places live by. Like, get the job done, whatever it takes. Well, you know, I'm sure you guys have all heard the expression, you know, you're just a cog in the wheel. Well, last time I checked, every piece that's inside of like a you know, piece of equipment or, you know, mechanical piece, like, they're all very important. 
So when we always use that, that cliche term, like you're just a cog in the wheel, man. Well, if that's the case, why am I not being valued as important? And the sad thing is there's so many opportunities out there for the people that are in the military. I mean, hell, there's so many opportunities out there for everyone in life uh, to get, you know, free, free counseling services, uh, AA stuff, I mean, you name it. There's opportunities, there's ways to do it. But people miss on all these opportunities and all these, all these organizations that are out there to help you. They're not getting the clientele they need, the numbers they need, because we feel guilty for it. No, there's nothing wrong with me. I still have my legs. I still have my arms. I'm breathing. I'm breathing normally, man. Like, I, I don't need to do that. <sighs> but where does it end? All right, guys. So please, please don't feel bad for trying to get help for yourselves. Please don't feel bad for trying to get help for others or speaking up for others. And if someone comes up to you, just know that it's it's definitely not easy to do that because it's these societies that exist out there. So if someone's gonna come up to you and ask for assistance, you know, try to find the resources available and get them to get them that help that they need. And if you don't know, don't don't cast them, don't don't guilt them or shame them because they probably already feel guilty as it is already. You know, feeling selfish, at least in the military, is definitely not a good feeling. And a lot of people don't know how to take care of themselves because they're completely unselfish but there's a fine line between unselfish and just complete stupidity you know one thing I try to tell people along this journey that I've been on is that it's not normal to go hiking you know endless miles <clears throat> with blisters on your feet but we do it in the military because that's what they tell you to do they say suck it up here's some Motrin push on but always know there's a time and place for those types of activities, those types of mental strength and toughness. Those are things that prepare you for when you have nothing, when you're all out there in the fray and it's just, it's game time. You know, it's, it's called push the fight, right? But there's a time and place. <clears throat> but when you're back home, chilling in your barracks and you're back home in your nice business that you work at or you own, you don't have to be hard. You just gotta be smart. So <laughs> there's my take on the whole shame and guilt thing. I'm curious to see what you guys uh, either have experienced with uh, these types of societies or cliques <clears throat> in your line of work. So go ahead and comment below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and share. The most important thing is to share this content. I mean, there's this might not help you, but it might help someone that you know. Um, that's what it's all about. It's all about paying it forward. I, I'd be lying to you all if I said that. I'd have people in my corner through this entire process to make sure I'm getting taken care of. And you know, this is a way that I feel like I can reach out to as many people as possible and pay it back. All right, so you're not alone. Hang in there and never feel guilty for taking care of yourself. All right, until next time. <laughs>